In the last couple of months, I've tried so many AI coding tools, but Cursor is on a completely different level. And here's the thing, most people are using Cursor completely wrong. They treat it kind of like a chatbot when it's actually way more powerful than that. Cursor can build entire applications with multiple files in just a few seconds. It explains code so you actually understand what's happening. It fixes bugs just by looking at screenshots and it can search the web and pull in documentation to add features that you've never built before. It's kind of like having a senior developer sitting right next to you and building everything with you and teaching you at the same time. So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you seven features that will unlock 85% of Cursor's power and we are gonna be building a real project management app together. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use Cursor the right way, even if you've never written a line of code before. And if you want our complete Cursor prompt library, guys, and also the exact project management template that we are going to be building today, then and guys, what you need to do is join the free school community down in the description below, guys. Check it out. Guys, we already have such a lot of people that have joined recently, and I can guarantee you, you are going to love it. But I know, guys, let's get over to the PC so that we can get started. Okay, guys, so now that we are on the PC, the first thing that you are going to need to do is download Cursor from Cursor.com, okay? So you're going to install it, and then just remember, guys, it is free to start. And once you do that, guys, you are going to create a new folder on your desktop, and it's going to be called Project management app. Okay, then you're gonna open cursor, you're gonna go to file and then to open folder and you're gonna select that folder. And this is gonna be your project home, okay? Cursor needs to know where everything lives in order to give you the best results. Okay guys, so now that we have the setup done, I need to mention that before we start building, we need a blueprint. It's super, super important guys. And this is, honestly, it's where most people just keep going wrong, okay? So the plan feature creates a step by step roadmap for your entire project. So this is what separates the beginners from the professionals. So professional developers don't just start coding. What they do is they plan first and then they code. Okay, so you're going to open your cursor agent and then you're going to toggle it to plan mode on the bottom left of the prompt box. Okay, so now we are going to tell cursor what we want to build. And here is the prompt. I'm just going to put that in. And this is the one that you can get from the free school community. Link is down below. And and now guys, I'm gonna hit enter and then I want you to watch what happens. So now Cursor is actually analyzing the request and it's thinking about the best way to structure the entire project. So guys, I want you to take a look at this. It's now creating a structured plan with different phases. It's listing out all of the files that it's going to create for us and it's even suggesting the tech stack, okay? So now let's read through this entire plan together. So phase one, it's the project setup and the project structure. So this is the foundation. And then phase two is the board and the column layout. Out, we are creating three columns, okay? It's to do, in progress, and done. And then phase three is the task card components and also more phases like editing. So you see how it broke it down, how it broke down our big idea into so many manageable steps? This is exactly how professional developers actually think about things like these. So they don't just look at the whole project and then begin to panic. What they do is they break it down into small pieces to make everything easier on them. So now here is where most people make the mistake. So they look at this plan and they try to build everything at once. Then what happens? They get overwhelmed and then they give up. So we are not doing that. We are gonna be following this plan step by step one phase at a time and you are actually going to see how easy this actually is so we are on to our second feature and that is the agent okay which is kind of like having a team of developers that's working for you at the same time so it can create and edit multiple files simultaneously so following our plan let's start with the foundation so we're building phase one and phase two together so here's my prompt which you can copy from the free school community link down below and now let me explain why this prompt works so well so i'm being specific about the tech stack by using the act and tailwind okay so i'm telling it exactly what structure i want so three columns with specific names i'm listing out the components that i need you see because being specific is everything when you are prompting cursor so hit generate and then look at what's happening right now. Look at these files being created automatically. This would take me an hour to set up manually, but before we accept anything, 
we have to review, okay? So review what cursor is giving you. Never just blindly accept the code. Always take, always just take a second just to quickly look over everything, okay? So guys, let me just click through each file to make sure that everything is right, okay? So app.js, this is our main application. Board.js, the container for our columns. Column.js is the individual column, so to do in progress and done. Taskcard.js is individual task cards inside columns. And then taskform.js is the form for creating new tasks. Tasks. So this is a professional grade setup. So let's accept all of the changes and there we go guys. So all the files are populated in our project right now. And as you can see guys, we now have a working React app with three columns in just two minutes. This is the power of Cursor Agent. So now guys, let's talk about the ask feature. So ask is when you want to understand something that's going on. So you can simply just highlight any section and you can ask Cursor, what is this code doing? So look at the explanation panel, okay? So it's actually telling me exactly what the code does without touching the code. So let me show you a another way to use this, okay? So highlight any component and then simply just ask, is this following the act best practices? What could be improved? And now that I asked that guys, you can see it's giving me suggestions, it's adding prop validation and it's extracting logic into custom hooks, improving our accessibility. So this is how you actually learn while you are building so that you can just get better at using cursor for yourself. You're not just generating code, you are now understanding why and how all of it works. So you now know how to learn and understand code, not to just generate it. And that is absolutely huge. So now guys, we are getting on to the next feature and that is custom rules and commands, okay? This is a hidden feature that most people don't even know exists. So custom rules lets you tell Cursor how you want it to behave across all of your projects or just in specific projects. So it's kind of like setting ground rules for your AI developer. So let me show you quickly. So go over to your settings and then to rules and commands and then there you'll see two options, okay? That is the user rules and the project rules. So user rules applies to every project that you work on. Project rules only apply to the current project that you are in. So let me give you an example, okay? Click on add rule for project and I'm going to name these general rules, okay? So now in this box, I can type any rule that I want cursor to follow. So let me type this. Always add comments to explain complex functions. Use descriptive variable names. Follow the act's best practices. So there we go guys, now see what I just did? So now every time cursor generates code in this project, it will automatically follow these specific rules that we just laid out. So I don't have to repeat myself every single prompt. And let me add another rule in, okay? So never use inline styles always use Tailwind CSS classes. So now Cursor knows to always use Tailwind instead of inline styles. This keeps our code consistent at all times. Okay, so now let me show you user rules. So these are global rules that apply to every single project that you work on. So you're gonna click on user rules and let me add one, okay? Always use functional components in React, not class components, okay? So now in every React that I build, Cursor will default to functional components and I never ever have to specify that again. This is incredibly powerful because it means that Cursor learns your coding style and it adapts to how you want to work. Oh yes, and guys, and don't let me forget to mention this, this is the best part. So you can create custom commands too. So commands are kind of like shortcuts for common tasks that you do. So let me create this one. Click on add command and then I'll name it optimize code, okay? So now I can define what this command does and I can review the selected code and I can optimize it for performance and readability, okay? So now whenever I highlight code and I run this command, then cursor knows exactly what to do. So you can create commands for anything, error handling, unit, unit tests, converting to TypeScripts, whatever you do repeatedly, what you should just do is make it a command and then it's gonna save you so much time. And that's also gonna stop you from repeating the same instructions over and over. Once you set it, cursor will remember. 
And now guys, our project management app now follows consistent coding standards automatically. And that's gonna take us perfectly into the next feature guys, which is inline editing. And that is the fastest way to make targeted changes. So it's way faster than explaining everything in chat. So you're gonna go to taskcard.js and you're gonna highlight the entire task card component. And then you're gonna press K and you're gonna type in, make this card look modern with a shadow, rounded corners and add a colored left border based on priority, red for high, yellow for medium and green for low, okay? And then guys, you're gonna hit enter and now your browser will display any changes that you make directly in the code. So here's the magic moment, okay? You can be vague, if you want to, you can highlight the entire board and just type in, make this look more professional. It understands context and it improves it. Better spacing, better layout, better colors. Our project management app now looks professional guys and it looks like it's ready to launch in just under about 10 minutes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and now guys, getting onto the next feature, this is where you feel like a 10X developer. So as you type, Cursor predicts entire blocks of code. It understands your project context and it suggests code that actually makes sense. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open a code file and you're gonna type C-O-N-S-T, okay? And now I want you to watch this. Before you even finish, Cursor is suggesting the rest for you. It's predicting what you might want to edit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press tab to accept and your changes will be made. Now guys, here is a pro tip for you. If the suggestion is wrong, just keep trying. Don't, don't accept it. Cursor learns from the choices that you make. The more you use it, the smarter it gets for your specific coding style. Okay guys, and now we are getting onto the last feature to master Cursor, and that is at commands. So at commands gives Cursor superpowers. So it can reference files, pull in documentation, and search the web, okay? So you're gonna open the chat, you're gonna type in the at symbol, and guys, just take a look at these options. Guys, now that is insane. And this is just one of the cool things that you can do on Cursor. And now guys, you completely understand. So I'm wondering, what are you gonna create on Cursor? And there we have it guys. Take a look at our finished project management app. It's a board layout with three columns to do in progress and done. We can create tasks, edit them, and a clean modern UI. This looks like a real product. So here's the workflow that we used, the plan, compose, chat, ask, inline edit, and then use tab completion and at commands. And guys, here's the real power. This process works for any idea. E-commerce store, same process. Social media app, same process. Fitness tracker, the same process. The only limit, to be honest with you guys, is your imagination. You didn't just copy code, you learned to think like a developer. That business idea that you've been sitting on, you can actually build that now. And guys, we are living in a time where anyone can build software. The barrier isn't coding anymore, it's having the courage to start. So guys, you just proved that you can do this. So the next thing I want you to do is check out the first link in the description below, guys, and go and join the free school community. Guys, in the community, we share all of our templates, we share everything, and also you're gonna be joining a community full with a lot of other people that are on the same path that you are. And guys, I can guarantee you, you are going to love it. There's over 8,000 builders currently in the community and I want you to be one of them. Guys, like I said, the link is in the description below. It is completely free. And also guys, what feature would you add to this app? Drop a comment down below to let me know. Hit subscribe, give this video a like, send it out to your friends and guys, I will catch you on the next one.